planet earth has been around for 4.5 billion years and seems set to be around for billions more to come. While the rock that we reside on is somewhat of a sure thing, humans have laid claims to all corners of the earth and sea, carving it up into various different countries and territories. Even at this stage in human development, countries are still forming, but on the flip side some are collapsing. Which are the most at risk? Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that likes to answer a plethora of queries from the irreverent to the actually pretty pressing. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate and today I'm asking which countries may not survive the next 20 years. Before we delve deep into this video, I want to ask you guys what country you're from and if you've ever moved countries. I'm from England, but I live in Canada and have done for 3 years. Also, if you guys like our content, do make sure you show us by giving it a good thumbs up. And if you want to connect with anyone that went into making these LBQ videos, then check out the links to our social media in the description box. So, countries. The concept of borders is so classically human. Can you even imagine animals abiding by such a political notion? The oldest countries in the world are China and Japan. China was established in 221 BCE and Japan in 660 BCE, although both countries have had modern revamps. The youngest country is South Sudan, which gained independence in 2011. I have a globe in my living room from the 1970s and you would be surprised how much has changed over the past 40 years. Years. When it comes to the destruction of countries, there are two ways this can happen natural disaster or political collapse and upheaval. Our first country is the only one in this video which is at risk of a natural catastrophe, and that is the Maldives. The Maldives gained independence from the United Kingdom in 1965, but these days they're sinking. The islands were hit hard by the Christmas tsunami of 2004 and are at great risk in the rising ocean levels. The popular honeymoon spot could be lost to the water waters in 10 years and fully submerged in 80. Right now the government are working on an emergency plan. Next we have the Ukraine which is under a huge threat from debt and from their less friendly relations with their Russian neighbours. The Ukraine only formed in 1991 in the fall of the Soviet Union and it is now in 5 billion dollars of public debt as well as 40 billion dollars of private debt. Not only that, Russia annexed part of their land Crimea in March 2014 without much worldwide backlash. Who seriously would want to step in against Putin as he set his sights on reclaiming former USSR land in the Ukraine? Stepping up against Russia would make another country vulnerable to collapse if enough Russian nukes were aimed at it, although I'm sure it wouldn't come to that, but the threat is enough to keep people at bay. Also majorly in debt we have Greece. Greece are struggling to keep it together right now. Now Greece has been around for centuries, so perhaps legacy is enough to keep them alive. The ancient Greeks would be rolling in their graves. Libya is in a big danger of collapse. Libya was formed in 1947 out of political intent rather than nationalism, and a lot of global analysts consider the people of Libya to be more loyal to various tribal groups than their own government, which in itself is pretty corrupt. One one country almost certain to fall in the next 20 years is North Korea, although I have to say Kim Jong Un's recent display of playing nice is a little bit more positive for the future of the nation. The fate of North Korea, formed from conflict in 1948, lays in Kim Jong Un's ability to behave like a respectful statesman. If he continues to test the nuclear weapons, the rest of the world won't like that. If he ever fires one, well that really is curtains for Kim and the rest of North Korea. Although what would happen to the land, well that's a much bigger question. Perhaps there is a possibility for peace and unity with North and South Korea, although the further they continue on their paths, the wider removed they become culturally. Ok, moving this close to home, for me anyway, we have the United Kingdom. So as you guys are probably aware, the UK is not one but four countries, England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. The Union has existed in some form or another since the mid 1700s. There has been a understandably tempestuous relationship over the years with the main body of of land and Ireland. Scotland staged a referendum to decide whether to leave the UK in 2014, but in the end voted to stay. Further issues have arisen since 2016 and the controversial Brexit vote, with Scotland and Northern Ireland especially unhappy with being pulled out of a union. Reports I get from back home is that the Isles are amid particular political upheaval and nobody is sure of the future. Will we see a reunified Ireland 
will we see the breakup of the UK? The world's superpowers, the United States, Russia, and China, seem invincible. However, the bigger the power, the harder the fall if anything goes south. If the USA and Russia, for example, ever erupted into hot war, well, both Putin and Trump have boasted that they could wipe one another off the world map. Let's hope that that never happens, because the implications and knock on effects from such an event could end more than just one or two countries. Throughout history, we have learned that nothing will make or break a country or change a border like a war. Realistically, there are only a handful of countries that could cease to maintain their flag over the next 20 years. Fingers crossed for peace and a lack of natural disaster to force any other changes. It is possible that we could see the formation of new countries, though. Perhaps in the next 20 years, we'll see Catalonia and Veneto. For now, I think Quebec is safe in Canada, but had you asked 20 years ago, maybe the mood would have been different. So, guys, what countries do you think will not survive the next 20 years? Let me know in the comments section down below. Also, don't forget to let me know what country you come from. If you like this kind of content, why don't you guys leave a thumbs up on this video and share it with a friend that will find it interesting? Also, do click on that big beautiful notification bell to be the first to hear big answers. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate, I'll catch you in the next video, but until then, stay curious, stay alert, and never ever stop questioning.